okay so now that we've gone through all the beauty stuff um, I will show you guys what we got or what I got for the for the kitchen stuff It was so much fun playing in Tokyo hands, which is the shop that I spend most of my time in as you guys know by now um, It's like a it's basically like a department normal department store Except that it has really cool things in it. So like all the Tupperware stuff like I wanted to get so many Tupperware things I wanted to get kitchen appliances. I wanted to get these pots. They had these beautiful um, Like kind of like I don't know what it is they're not ceramic but they're like clay pots looking um those are really cool and then they also had all these just different traditional japanese appliances like hibachi grills and stuff like that so all the things that i would love to have but honestly at a really cheap price like they had a hibachi grill that i've looked at on amazon before and there it was costing like 40 bucks and on amazon it costs like 100 bucks or something like that so really wish i gotten that but anyways I'll find a way to get that grill. So this is basically an apron that I got. Um, so I asked the... This is where we bought sake. We got a, a, a couple of sake bottles or two sake bottles from this shop, I think. And um, the the guy said uh, kuro, kuroshi means black cow. So I was like, ha, that's it. I'm going to get that one. So I noticed as well that when we went to the uh, liquor store, there was a guy who was wearing this same type of apron, not necessarily the same print, but um, the style. And I wonder whether this is like a, a style for bartenders or a specific group of people who wear them that's trendy. I wasn't able to ask, uh, but I'm, I'm curious about that if anyone knows. And then I got a bunch of like... Um, yeah, wooden spoons and stuff like this because the quality is totally different from what we're used to here in Canada. And so I really wish I could have even gotten more than this because again, for the price point, this was like, and the quality you can tell, like this is like legit bamboo, I think. For the quality and the style, it's so cool. Like, yeah, I really wish I could have more this type of stuff as well this is a really cool idea like when you're um, baking stuff or like let's say if you're trying to create a batter or like lightly coat th coat things in in uh, flour or something like that or even when you're icing a cake you put the powder or the flour in there and then you can lightly just sort of like t -t 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 -t. I'm not actually sure if that's what this is intended for but that's what I'm gonna use it for and then I got I just got a cheesecloth because why not for Tupperware, I got this. I'm super excited about this one, you guys. I should have shown you the other one first, but um, this is kind of awesome because first of all, the color is me. The brand is called, and so yeah, so it's just like, um, they have so much nice Tupperware, you guys, out there. Everything is so beautiful. Oh, I didn't even know it had chopsticks. So this has chopsticks as we've learned but it's just like a and this is what it looks like inside so you can have your cute little lunch nicely separated so this is the little separator right here and yeah I love this first of all I just love Tupperware in general y'all know that by now but I'm trying to work on it so I'm gonna be purging um, a bunch of my other Tupperware because I now got some more um and this is a metal one this is just i wanted to get a wooden bento box but i couldn't find something that i liked and so i just ended up settling for something like this this is nice like if you have dry lunches um but i also liked it because it matches my pencil case <laughs> i know that sounds so corny and that is so me but true story right i got some chopsticks but they're really cute. They have a little cat on them. Um, <laughs> they're too cute. I just got them because they're really cute at the time. But I'm thinking I might actually gift these to someone um, at some point because I uh, I don't think I need this many chopsticks. Uh, and then I got a lunch cover. So these were really fun. So this is the brand. Um, but it's like a... The way it works is like you put your little lunch box in here. Oh, let's demonstrate it. 
So you essentially put your lunch container and whatever else you have going for you and then you just tie it like that. And that's your lunch. That's actually really cool. And then I got a bunch of these. These are just wooden spoons um, that I, you know, obviously was gonna get because they're like amazing quality and the pricing was too good not to get them. And I got this from my mom, but I forgot to give it to her, but it's just like one of those cute little um, cutlery sets um, for her to use for her lunch and maybe encourage her to just walk around with it. I don't know if she will, but it comes with chopsticks, a spoon, and a fork. So hopefully she will like that. And then because there's a lot of like tempura and deep frying stuff there, or katsu, I guess they might call it, um, there's a lot of paper there as well. And so this is like the, kind of like the way you might use paper towel. This is what this is. Also sell these bento box sort of like bands. They have them in different colors and different styles, but I just went for the simple one. This brand I think is called Hakoya. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that is. I also got these chopsticks. So these are travel pockets chopsticks. Um, yeah, I got these. I must have gotten this after I purchased the first ones because when I bought the first set of chopsticks, I bought this bag as the sort of sleeve to carry my chopsticks. Like you can put your cutlery in there, like not just chopsticks, but like everything else. So it's just an, a simple fabric thing. And then I also bought other chopsticks which are for cooking. So I thought this was really cool to just, or even like when you're um, serving something, I don't know, you could use chopsticks. You always need chopsticks. And these are nice, like the tips are silicone and the stems are I think just regular, I don't know, hard plastic, whatever that's called. And then I got these, but I can't find the other one. So these are like pot holders. Yeah, I bought two of these, but I, I don't know where the other one is at this point. So we got a bunch of like sake cups. These are so fun. And I think us guys, we're, we're gonna, I think in one of the vlogs and stuff, we probably talk about the whole sake situation that happened to us when we went to um, the sushi restaurant in Tokyo. So maybe we'll explain more about that, but the cups are beautiful. These say Kanewaka. I don't know whether that's a place, but we got these, I think, where did we get these? I think we got these at the airport. Um, yeah, I think we got those at the airport. And then these were the cups that we got at the same place we got this apron that I talked about. So um, I don't actually know what this says. So I'm hoping that a friend can translate <laughs> that for me. And you see how the cups are different, right? So um, yeah, like it's very typical that like you have different types of cups, sake cups, and you know, you let your guests pick the cups that they prefer and I think Morgan will have a better time telling the story of how I picked my cup when we went to this Japanese sake restaurant or sorry sushi restaurant one night I'll leave that to him and then this is the this is the um, the the sake thing itself yeah so that's basically all our kitchen stuff so yeah, everything that I got that's kitchen stuff, I really love, love, love. And I wish I got more kitchen stuff, but then part of it is our place is so small, like I told you guys, and a lot of my stuff is in storage, like all my kitchen stuff, the stuff that I really, really, really like. Um, and I can't wait for us to get a, another place so that we can just, you know, live our best lives in the kitchen kind of thing, because um, I love uh, kitchen stuff more than anything, really. So, um, but yeah, that's, those are the few things that we got in Japan. And now that my friend Sandra lives there, or at least now that I know that a friend of mine lives there, I think it's going to be awesome because I can ask her to essentially get me stuff and, and ship it to me, hopefully. So yeah, that'll be fun.